so we've made our suspension and now we want to keep our wheels upright and get them to turn we're going to be using advanced ball socket to do this in combination with a chip that uses set ang for our steering which will be provided um, the first thing I want to talk about though is the use of an advanced ball socket we're going to be essentially using advanced ball socket to restrict a prop's angular movement relative to another prop. Um, using the settings that are provided uh, within the tool, we can choose which axis of rotation we want to limit, and by however many degrees. Um, so a brief example of this is we can see our settings here. Our X has full 360 degrees freedom of movement. And I believe the X axis goes like this. So this gives the wheel this kind of freedom. It will be able to rotate forward and backwards however many degrees. However, the Y axis going this way can't rotate at all. We have set it to negative 0.1 and 0.1. We never want to go all the way to zero because that would just make the game kind of freak out. And then lastly, our Z axis is exactly like our Y axis, negative 0.1 to 0.1. And that's this up and down axis, so it can't rotate like this. And that's pretty much how ball socket works. If we check free movement, um, they'll be able to uh, move independently of one another. Not, not talking about angles here, just move in as in position in our 3D space. So that's exactly what we want. We want free movement. Uh, so let's get started here. It's fairly fairly simple. Our back wheels, all we want them to do is rotate relative to the chassis. So we have all our values set up the way we want. No collide. I just have check, you know, whatever you want. And we will click our wheel, click the chassis. Click our other wheel, click the chassis. Now these wheels can only rotate like this. Um, for our front wheels, however, we want them to do the same thing, but also turn. So that's where our chip comes in. We have this um, easy car steering, I've named it, thanks to Gyra for introducing me to this method. I've changed a few things here. We've got four variables that you can edit if you'd like. We have a turn limit, which is the max degrees in both directions, as in both left and right. Um, that your car can steer at low speeds speeds under this speed interval 40 miles an hour our top speed turn limit is the max degrees in both of those directions that you that it will restrict at higher speeds so um, let's change this because you can change this variable speed interval here if you'd like. I think 40 miles an hour is decent. And this is all just personal preference. You can just set this to the same value as your turn limit if you don't want your, your turn limit to change as you go faster. And then turn speed mul is the multiplier for how fast you want your uh, steering to go. Um, so we've, we've pasted this guy. First thing we're going to do is wire chassis to the chassis. That's all we want to wire for now. We don't want to wire anything else. That'll that'll instantly set your thing, your your chip to the correct angle that you want it to be. Boss, take out our ball socket advanced tool. We use the same exact settings. We shoot our front wheels and shoot the steering chip. Now this second variable is something that I just have for personal preference. Chair. If you wire the chair to the chair. It puts the chip um, right where the chair starts, right where the chair is. And I like this because I don't, I don't really like seeing chips and stuff kind of float around um, outside of your contraption. Lastly, pod goes to pod, and we should be all set. On a side note, I never like to unfreeze the current thing that I'm working on, so I will always, always, always dupe it to test it in case something goes wrong unfreeze it hop in our hop in our chair and we see that our steering is working 
and that's it have any questions let me know um, if the wheels are rotating in the wrong direction when you when you steer that's just trial and error you gotta fix you go to the advanced ball socket tool you might not be on the x-axis that you're working on so set this to y and set y to the x values and try again yep have fun